welcome back to my channel. My name is Georgina and I am the Honest Virgo Couch. Right then, today we are looking at Ray, Oscar winning tears live at the Royal Albert Hall. Now, the reason I'm looking at this one is you guys. You've been saying, why haven't you checked out Ray yet? I don't know. I've just, I don't, just not got round to it. I don't, I don't kind of understand the hype or anything. So I'm trying to sort of dial in now and understand what's exciting about Ray. I saw a very brief clip of her Kelly Clarkson performance yesterday on I think it might have been TikTok or Instagram, something like that, TikTok maybe. And I thought, oh my goodness, why have I not listened to this song yet? So this is the live at the Royal Albert Hall performance. As always, I will be giving you my sort of critique reaction. Uh, and if I do have to chop it because of copyright, as you probably know now, I do have a Patreon. The link is below so you can watch the whole thing unchopped. Let's dive in. <laughs> The Royal Albert Hall will always be extraordinary for me. It's the most beautiful venue. I was so lucky that I got to see the uh, Royal Variety performance there a couple of years ago with Ellie. It was fantastic. And it's just a beautiful hall and the sound was incredible. Although they didn't utilise all of the sound as they could have done for the Royal Variety. But for this, I definitely think they will. Oh, actually, Aurora just did a concert recently with the organ playing and it looked f and sounded phenomenal. so good isn't it oh my god and just having a whole orchestra at your disposal must be like heaven for any singer i don't ever think i have sung with a full orchestra no small bands but not a full orchestra like this please give a warm heartbreak welcome to the wonderful Ray. Gentlemen, I'm gonna tell you about one of the many men. Name is irrelevant, height is irrelevant. He was a one out of ten. I wish that I knew it then. I'm still recovering. Oh, truly, I'm vulnerable. She's so focused. The song started so quickly, and she was like, I'm in. I'm in. I'm controlled. I am focused. I am ready. And this is sort of singing, but it's got this speech level to it. So it's very descriptive, very conversational. I love a sentiment. Quickly I open up, I learn my lesson then. Thought I would save again. Thought he was innocent, I was so wrong. I can't deny I was stuck in a daze, a terrible fate. There's so much going on in her voice. I, I could spend an hour just describing her voice. So we've got this beautiful R&B kind of twang that she has. There's also an element of Paloma Faith Stroke, Amy Winehouse, Vintage. There's also a bit of jazz in there. There's a little bit of Lady Gaga in there. But obviously she is her own person. She's not necessarily copying any of these people. It's just that I think she's taken her inspiration from something. Some of them and all of that is flooding through there's also big band there's swing going on here i could like i said i could spend an hour 
listing every single element and inspiration in this performance so far. She looks fab. I'm loving the 50s kind of look with her hair and the earrings and the pearls. And the sound is exquisite, so they've done a very good job at the venue. You was convincing though, very believable, the role that you play so... Oh, da, da 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 So we get a chest, and then suddenly she breaks into this beautiful head voice, which is very airy. And I've just seen that there's a choir back there. I think I might have to watch the whole of this now, the entire concert. Where have I been? I th I've just been, you know, ill, pacemaker, moving house, grieving, you know, stuff, I guess. I need to catch up here. I'll take this front row seat And baby, baby, you can go ahead Cry those Oscars When the tears by one And I scream yes Baby, baby, you can go ahead Cry those Oscars When the tears Ha ha Yes! Oh, her vocal technique is superb. The volume changes, the dynamics, the way the choir comes in behind her. I was getting the shivers then. I'm in already. Oh, a tragedy. It didn't have to be. Look how you talk to me. Cursing and blasphemy. Cinematography. Get this on camera, please. Oh, no one gonna believe this. And no, I can't deny it. Okay, so we then go from chest to head, but then she mixes it and it's just the shivers. I This is great. I'm getting my ASMR shivers for the morning. I've got the dentist after this. Yeah, I know. I've been having Invisalign. This is number 20, 28 of 40. So I'm nearly at 30. Uh, and I'm sort of six months in. I've been pretty much changing it weekly, which has been really good. If you ever think about getting Invisalign, although it's kind of expensive, it's been completely worth it for me. After all these years of going through numerous different braces and things, to get to this point and them actually feel straighter and more comfortable and, yes, yeah, just giving me a little bit more confidence. Anyway, let's carry on watching. <laughs> Okay, so we've got twang in there. And baby, baby, hey! So she's got a touch of twang in there. Now, if you don't know what twang is, it's a little bit complicated to explain. But the best way of explaining it is the nozzle on a hose in your garden. Most of the time when we're singing, we get just this sort of open blast of water, of air and of sound and of tone. But what we want to do is close the folds to create a little bit of compression so we get that really controlled sort of fire of water. And that's going to give you more resonance, more sound, more volume and it's going to enable you to really blend between your registers brilliantly. And it's just a great way of getting a good belt. Hey! Hey, 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 hey. It's the whiny sound that we make. Like a child. Hey! hey. Let's keep watching. She sings with her entire body. You can see that she's proper grounded. And what I mean by grounded and anchored is that instead of sticking her bum out backwards, which a lot of us tend to do, especially if you wear heels, it puts strain and tension on the front of your abs and all of this area. So by tipping the hips under and making sure you're grounded and supported, you can use all of your instrument properly. And she's really using every last bit of her instrument. 
I'm loving the tremolo. It's a type of vibrato. Now, vibrato, guys, it's a really techie video, this one. A vibrato only happens when you're in a super comfortable position. So no tension, good breath control. It's almost like when you're vocally in a happy place, Ah, your natural vibrato is going to come through. But she's actually using the soft palette, the top of a soft palette up here. Ah, I find it really difficult to do. Ah, ah, it's up here that's creating that sound, not the vocal folds. Ah, it's here. Ah, it's the air fluttering at the top of the mouth. And that's tremolo rather than vibrato. And basically, it just means I, a vibration and oscillation of the folds. You can miss me with the bullshit Cause I can see right through your teeth Nine o'clock entertainment Oh man, I wish I could dip in Sit down, no tissues no string section, no tiny violin. <laughs> I love that. No tears, no string section. You've got a right string section. And no tiny violin. I did a little tiny violin. <laughs> For the last time I'm your audience, I'll take this front row seat. Oh, I love that. I'll take this front row seat. It starts from the chest and then lifts. It's just gorgeous and it's so enjoyable to see. I can proper feel it here. Let's take this run row seat. It's great. Might be singing this one later in the car. Baby, baby, you can go. Control on that is superb, but because she was using a good amount of twang, hey, oh, <laughs> hey, she's really closing the folds to allow just enough breath through so that she can do it. That was fab. She's so overwhelmed at the end of that and I can tell why. The use of a head voice and the mix at the end with that lovely riff, just superb. I've had shivers all the way through. I've got to be honest, I had no idea. Where have I been? Now I understand why people are saying they love Ray. I can totally see it, totally see it, wow. So that performance was pretty epic. And the fact that she's got her own live concert in the Royal Albert Hall means that she's definitely doing something right. So before I go, please give me a thumbs up. Really helps me on the old algorithm. And if you're not subscribed, why the heck not? Please subscribe, I'll see you in the next one. And I've just realized, my fringe is wonky. Bye loves.